three, two, one. Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day Gamers, and welcome. So today we're playing around with some lasers, and I had this fun sort of idea of making some sort of laser type net design. Now, the lasers themselves I'm using, I've linked them down in the description below, so you can check them out for yourself. But basically what I've made here is a grid sort of system, and I was thinking how this could be utilised to eliminate enemy ships. And first of all, I was thinking, hang on, you know what? You don't want to hear me yapping, you just want to see me throw a bloody ship into it, don't you? So we'll do that as, as I'm yapping away. So this is just one line of lasers. So there we go, we've got a ship from the workshop going into it. And the lasers themselves are not super dangerous, but it's what happens when you start to overlay the sort of laser channels onto each other. It reminds me a bit of Tron, hopefully you're not being blinded by the redness. It's because of all the ambient blur that Space Engineers have decided to add. So you can see as it bumps into it, it starts to cut. And of course the larger the ship, the more damage that will be caused overall. So you can see how it's just cutting through the armor, penetrating straight through the center, damaging systems on board. And if we want to add, kind of add insult to injury, let's fire up the other two parts of this laser defense net. So let's fire number two up. So laser defense system number two is now online. That's penetrating there. So you've got a slight offsetting sound. That's very frustrating indeed. And let's fire up layer number three. So when the ship gets through all these layers, it's really going to have trouble. So the game is starting to choke, but since it's on my own computer and it's quite powerful, I should be able to cope with it, even though it's going to be quite a yellow, well, a red sort of mist. So there you go. You can see all the layers of the ship. The ship is literally being segmented apart. So this is what's actually coming through. Just tiny little parts. It's just a whole of the central area that's managed to cut through the central beams. Like when you watch a lot of Resident Evil movies and that sort of um, corridor of lasers scans up and down, that's the sort of effect I wanted to go for. And you're probably going, Aaron, it's not very functional at all, this sort of concept. But what would happen if instead of mounting these on a static platform, you decided to mount them on two separate ships? You and your friend could work together to basically eliminate an enemy ship from a distance by creating a net around their ship or you could even pack it onto a civilian type vessel something that's not super heavy armored they let you in through their fleet and as you drive past you turn the laser shield on and you just incinerate them so this is what's coming through the other side it, it still looks like a ship but i assure you that it's not so the end part's coming through we'll just cut the lasers off there quickly beautiful it's proper destruction it is in pieces it's been just cut away from each other and the most important or fun part is it still has the feeling of it's a ship but it's just this hole of this cascaded that's been completely removed from existence by them crossing laser lines too bad it doesn't cut it off into perfect squares like in resident evil when then people tend to slice up so you're wondering just how i was going to top it well, we've actually got this massive Halo-inspired ship going into the meat grinder at the moment. Now, if this crashes my game, then so be it. But let's just see what happens. Now, I'm not too sure if it's actually going to fit completely into it. But you can see the frame rate has already gone down through the roof. Yeah, the lasers are just penetrating through. You can see every time a laser goes through and in and out the other side, that means it's destroyed everything in the actual inside of that instance and then come out the other. So we've not got too much tilting, but you can see the worry that I thought might happen is beginning. Since there's so much force going on with them lasers, we can actually see. So what I'm gonna do is just do a bit of a time lapse and speed this up as it goes through for you once it's done. So to conclude this experiment, I'll show you what happened to the ship. So I cut it out because what ended up happening is the laser started pushing the rear segment of the actual ship away from the laser cutter. But you can see that's starting to accelerate up and move out. But everything that made it through the cutter, that's a good, good half of the ship, literally got incinerated. And what I like about it even further is you can see how there's strips of armor left. 
So as it's cut through the armor, it's left these long strips because it's just not managed to hit some of the certain parts. And you see it just stripped into different areas. You've got a part of the logo there, the, the UNS. Is it the USNS? I can't see that part, but you can see that is what we have left of such a giant Halo craft. And that thing over there, it did quite well. And I reckon if the ship went faster, the space engineers could handle things like this. I mean, space engineers can't handle little things at the moment. So big things like this, it's never going to be able to handle. But still a very, very fun experiment to do. Hopefully you enjoyed that and I will see you.